Python tutorial Arbitrage Pricing Theory Model Asset pricing models consist of estimating asset expected return through its risk premium linear relationship with factors portfolio's expected risk premiums and macroeconomic factors. This topic is part of investment portfolio analysis with Python Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Arbitrage pricing theory, or APT, consists of estimating asset expected return through its risk premium linear relationship with market risk premium and macroeconomic factors starting from asset expected excess return. For full reference, I recommend that you read Stephen Ross, The Arbitrage Theory of Capital Asset Pricing, published in the Journal of Economic Theory in 1976. As a formula, the expected asset return through the arbitrage pricing theory is equal to a risk-free rate of return plus a beta-1 coefficient multiplied by the market risk premium, which is the difference between the expected market return minus the risk-free rate of return plus a beta-2 coefficient multiplied by the macroeconomic factor, which in this case we are including as an educational example, therefore it's not fixed and can be modified according to your needs. In this example, it's been included the expected change in CPI. CPI corresponds to the consumer price index, therefore its change corresponds to, when positive, to inflation, when negative, to deflation. Plus alpha, which is the asset expected excess return through the arbitrage pricing theory. Great, so let's go into Python PyCharm IDE so that we can study arbitrage pricing theory with greater detail. Excellent. So here we are within Python PyCharm ID. In this tutorial, we'll be working within Python tutorial, APT or arbitrage pricing theory, multiple factors model. So the first step within the tutorial is to do packages importing. So we're going to import pandas SPD and then from stats models, we're going to import regression.linear model as LM and also tools.tools as CT for the constant or intercept. The next step is to create the data for this corresponding multiple factors model, APT. So we create this data object, which is equal to PD or pandas dot read underscore CSV. And within it, we have the path to the data file, which is found within the data directory and the data file named APT multiple factors models data as a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values. Index column as date and we parse those dates as true. So let's go ahead and see this data. So here within the data file we have as mentioned previously a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values. Within it we have four columns of data. First dates, then SPY minus RF, then MKT minus RF, and then CPI. Notice that dates have a monthly frequency and it's from the beginning of 2007 all the way to the end of 2016. Therefore, we have 10 years of data, 120 observations for each of this time series. Then SPY minus RF corresponds to the asset risk premium which is the difference between SPY monthly arithmetic return minus the corresponding monthly risk-free rate of return. SPY corresponds to the ETF investment vehicle which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. Then we have MKT minus RF, that's the market risk premium, which corresponds to the market portfolio monthly arithmetic rate of return minus the corresponding month risk-free rate of return. And last we have CPI, that corresponds to the monthly arithmetic change or rate of return of CPI. As mentioned previously within the slides, when positive is considered inflation, when negative deflation. So let's go back into the code file. 
And once we have the data ready, we can continue with APT multiple factors models calculation. So the first step here is within the previously created data object, we are going to add a new column with .loc and within brackets first we have those semicolons, meaning that we're going to select all the rows, comma, and the name of the column is going to be CT because we're going to add a constant or intercept for our regression, which is equal to CT feature from stats models dot add underscore constant to this data. And then we can do that corresponding multiple linear regression. So here we have APT as a variable which is equal to LM feature from stats models dot OLS. So we'll be calculating this through ordinary least squares. And first of all, we have the dependent or explained variable, which is data. We're going to select the corresponding column where we have SPY minus RF, which is the asset risk premium, comma. And then we have the independent or explanatory variables. Notice that this is a multiple regression because we have two independent or explanatory variables. So within data and with double brackets, first we include the column with CT for the calculation of the constant or intercept, and then we have the two corresponding independent or explanatory variables. The first of this, as we can see, MKT minus RF, which is the market risk premium, and then we have CPI, which as mentioned previously, is the monthly rate of return or monthly change in CPI that when positive, it's considered inflation, when negative, deflation comma, has a constant equals to boolean, and then here we fit the regression. And the last step is we're going to print the summary results for this regression. So we print the blank space, then the title, APT linear regression, summary. And then here we are going to print from this APT object its corresponding summary. So as I've already run this corresponding code before recording this video tutorial, its corresponding code file names already stored there, so I just go ahead, select it, and click Run. Excellent. So let's go ahead and visualize the results for this linear regression with multiple independent or explanatory variables. First of all, the title we printed. Then we have this OLS regression results, and we can see the corresponding specifications. So specifically, we're going to focus on those corresponding coefficients. The first of this corresponds to CT, that's the constant or intercept. That's the expected asset excess return on top of its exposure to the corresponding market risk premium and also to its exposure to the macroeconomic factor. Then we have the second coefficient, which is the one with MKT minus RF. That's the beta one from the slides, which is the linear relationship between the asset risk premium and the market risk premium. And last, we have the third coefficient here, which is with its title CPI, that corresponds to the beta 2 within the slides. And that corresponds to the linear relationship between the asset risk premium and the change in CPI, as mentioned previously, when positive inflation, when negative deflation, and also as mentioned previously, this corresponding macroeconomic factor was included as an educational example, therefore it's not fixed and can be modified according to your needs. Excellent. So now that we've finished doing the calculation of the arbitrage pricing theory multiple factors model, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.